Intervention. Intervention is also called anti-derivative. Anti-derivative. Derivative. So, for example, you take any function. Suppose this is x to the power of n. This one function. The function of x. x. Now, the function of this x to the power of n, this one. I am putting this symbol, this function, into dx. Right? Yes, sir. That means here I can put the function in anything. F of x. Dx, right? Then this formula is what? x, x to the power of n plus 1, 1 by x plus n 1. n plus 1 plus c. Yes, Say for example, x to the power of 7 dx. Right? I apply this formula. X right? This formula I apply. Yes. X to the power of 7, 7 plus, plus 1, 1 by 7 plus, plus 1, 1 plus c. c. Or directly you can write x to the power of 8 by 8, 8 plus c. On the other hand, if it is in the denominator, say, x to the power of 7, what you got to do is what? X take to the numerator. minus 7 plus 1. Dx. Okay. Yes, sir. Therefore, x to the power of minus, minus 7 one. plus 1 by minus 7 plus 1. Yes. Then x to the power of minus, minus 6 by minus 6. six. Therefore, minus 1 minus. by 6x to the power of 6. Plus yes, six. sir. See, one thing you just observe. You know what? Increase the power divided by? Power. That power, if it is a numerator, yes, if it is a denominator, decrease change the, the sign, decrease. decrease the power, multiply by decrease the power. Yes, sir. Shortcut is what? Yes, sir. Change the sign, denominator, uh, decrease the power by 1, yes, sir. multiplied by decrease power. power. Decrease power. Continue. Suppose I do this, sum, this third sum dx by x to the power of 2. It is in the denominator, no? Minus 1 by Change 1. Change the sign. Decrease by the power by 1. Multiply by decrease. Power. 1 will be 1. Where you get on in electrostatics? Minus 2. Plus, or do you remember this one? Work done in bringing unit passive from, from infinity to the okay. point. Okay. So Against the field direction. Dx by x square. Lower limit minus, upper limit minus lower limit. Yeah, yeah. That's there we are using. See example, I'll write it. Suppose I write like this. Minus infinity to. I'll yes. write like this. Minus dx by x square. In physics, yes, sir. you get that. Yes, sir. Dx by x square. Because whenever it is a denominator, change the sign. Okay. Decrease the power by, by one. 1. Multiply with decrease power. Put like this. This is called upper limit. This is the lower limit. Lower limit. Then there is one rule is that put upper limit 1 by upper limit minus, minus one by lower, lower limit. limit. This is equal to 0. Therefore, 1 by r. You understood, no? Yes, sir. There we are using this integration. In physics. Physics, in physics. Okay. Easy, no? Yes, sir. Even in uh, uh, this one, chemistry also, dx by. There we use, I'll tell you how to do this. Okay. Therefore, in rate of the chemical reaction, we are using this one. Okay. Therefore, integration is so important, both physics, chemistry, maths and all that. See, now, uh, suppose integral of dx by root x and dx by like this, right? Takes. These three sums I'll do it now. I'm leaving her like this for a few minutes so that it gets dry. Mm. How to do this type of sums? I'm first this one I'll write. Integration of dx by x to the power of half, correct? Yes, sir. This you take to the numerator. Minus half. Minus half dx. This is equal to x to the power of 1 by 2. Minus half plus 1. Minus half plus 1. Therefore, this x, x to the power, power of 1 by 2 half by 1 by 2 is half. This so, it will be here. 2 root x. 2 root x. Root x. Yes, sir. Therefore, now this you can treat as a formula. See, integration of dx by, by root, root x. x is equal to 2, 2 root, root x. x. You remember this as a formula only. Yes, sir. Right? Yes. Sir. Now, how to do this one now, in this case? This is equal to integration of x to the power of half dx, right? Yes, sir. This is equal to x to the power of yes, half plus 1. Yes, sir. By half plus 1. So, either 2 possible x to the power of 3 by 2. And x power by 3, 3 by, by 2, 2. Or 2 by 3. X to the power of 3 by 2. This is one way. Okay. Or else apply law of indices. Yes, Here 3 by 2. Yes, Correct? Yes, sir. This is x to the power of half into x to the power of 1. Yes, sir. A to the power of 1 plus n. No? Yes, sir. This is what? 3 by 2. 2. Root x and x. Okay. Therefore, what you write? 
this formula you have two things now i write root x dx dx will be equal to one is what 2 by 3 x plus 3 by 2 next what sorry this is 2 by 3 this is also 2 by 3 2 by 3, right? This is 2 by 3. 2 by 3. X root X. X to the power of X. X root X. Root X. Yes. Then you have two formula. This one. Then what to do this one? Integration of X to the power of 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1. X square by 2. Dx, right? Yes, sir. X square by 2, two plus. Yes. Can you follow? Yes, sir. Therefore, here, X dx is equal to X square by, X square by 2. 2 plus. See what uh, this you have done now. See how to do this one now. This sum. Whenever it is a denominator, change the sign. Decrease the power, multiply by decrease power. Right? Yes, sir. This is the answer. There are minus... 1 by x plus c. Yes. But how to do this one? It's a very very important sum. X power minus 1. No. It will be 1. Answer no. Is one decrease side. the power by 0. Okay. Change the sign. Multiply by decrease power. Therefore minus 1 by 0 is not defined. infinity. Not defined. Therefore you know. See differential coefficient of. Log x is equal to. 1, one by, by x. x. Yes sir. Differential of log x is equal to 1 by x dx. Yes, sir. That means here I will write like this. Sir. This is called anti derivative. Anti derivative. If I put this symbol now, if I put in dx now, yes, therefore, therefore, integral of this goes off. Thank you. Both are opposite. They cancel each other. See, therefore, what you write? Log x you get. Therefore, integration of dx by x is log x. Normally, the right place plus c the right. Okay. Understood now? Yes. Now, you got a new formula. This is another formula. Now, I will write down all the formulas one by one. Whatever. That A is not important. It is basic. But that is not. Then again, what integration of e to power of x dx? It'll be e x only. e to power of x. Yes. Yes. See, differential of e x is what? Log. No, e to power of x. Log x. Log x. Log x. Yes. Understood, no? Yes, sir. But uh, integral of e to power of x is equal to what? e to the power of x by log x. Dowsies? Right? Yeah. Okay. See now, these are the integration <coughs> formulas you supposed to know. See integration of x to the power of n. x dx power n plus 1. Is equal to? x power n plus 1 by x plus 1 plus c. Then integration of. See now integration of dx what you write. No. dx is equal to 1 into dx, right? Yes, sir. Therefore, one can be x to the power of 0 dx. Can I write like that? Anything raised to the power of 0 is what? 1. one. Yes, sir. This is equal to x to the power of 0 plus 1. 0 plus hey, 1. Plus. Then x to the power of 1 by 1. Plus. Therefore, what? x. x plus c. Therefore, what I just remember is integration of x to the power of say example I give dx. Say that x to the power of 8 by a plus C. Now here integration of dx. X plus C. Now remember this as formula. Okay, sir. And integration of x dx. X dx is what? X square by 2. 2 plus C. X dx. Then next dx by x to the power of 7. You remember this as also formula. Whenever it is a denominator, change the sign. One by decrease the power by into multiply by decrease six. power six. Hmm? Then again, what? But dx by x is what? Two root x. No log x. Basically. Oh yes. Power yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, power one. Yeah. Then integration of a to power of x dx is equal to 
ए टू पावर ऑफ एक्स बाई लॉग ए लॉग ए बेसी देन ए टू पावर ऑफ ए एक्स इज इक्वल एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू वॉट ई पावर एक्स टू पावर ऑफ एक्स प्लस सी Then again another two formula integration of root x dx is what two by three two by three x root x or two by three x to the power of three by two. You can do this. But dx by root x is equal to two root x plus. You understand now? Yes. All these formulas I am going to apply now. Okay. okay?